What's going on guys? Etika from the Etika World Network and I'm here to report on something that's kind of been a little bit of buzz on Twitter lately. It involves Diddy Kong. Now a lot of you dudes know Diddy Kong is a very viable character in Smash 3DS and Wii U. And uh, a very competitive player named CT0, you guys definitely know him. He's very um, he's very recent in the Smash scene. He's, he's definitely a big name when it comes to competitive players. Um, Clash Tournament Zero brought up a point about Diddy Kong which kind of has everybody in a tight mood right now but things are somewhat resolved too but I wanted to report on this to let you guys know exactly what the whole deal was because some of you might have seen stuff on Twitter and not known exactly where it stemmed from and if you don't know I'm here to inform you so basically um, Zero, he had been hanging out with Sky at his house, or maybe it was through a tournament. I don't know exactly what the studying was. I wish I was cool to hang out with people like that too. But um, but yeah, he was hanging out with Sky Williams, and they came to the conclusion that Diddy Kong. Well, it wasn't even just them. And you know what? This isn't a video shitting on their opinion, their initial opinion at least on Diddy Kong. I do share a few of their sentiments as well too. But they had come to the conclusion that Diddy Kong was really overpowered. And um, Zero made this post, as you guys can see here on Twitter. What if we just banned Diddy Kong in Smash 4? He's literally killing the game. And players, less than a week. Wait a minute. He's literally, he's literally, comma, killing the game. And players, in less than a week. US and Japan is Diddy at the moment. And his point was that due to how viable Diddy is in a lot of situations, a lot of people, top players, um, relevant players, are actually switching their mains to Diddy Kong simply for the fact that this guy has amazing follow-ups in a lot of situations. He has a plethora of options. The only thing that I would consider weak about him is his offstage game, but even then, you know, he makes up for it more than enough. Even considering the nerf with the one banana, Diddy still happens to be a problem. Now, there was actually some follow-up to this. Now, he was actually venting on Twitter, just a couple of his thoughts before he came up to the idea to ban Diddy Kong. And as soon as he did that, you could sort of say that the Smash community tried to castrate him. I mean, it wasn't as bad as you would think it would be from the internet, because he does make some valid points, but the idea of banning a character this early in the game was kind of a little ridiculous, so people kind of set him straight, and we'll move onward with it, but um, this is where the Diddy Kong drama comes from. Now, um, let's read through some of the points that he made, so you guys can decide for yourself if he was making sense or not, but um, alright. I, re I really want to keep using Fox in Smash 4, but the top 2-3 characters are just so much better than him that I feel like I limit myself hard now. Like. I down throw with Fox, and then I have to read them for a follow-up, then read them again for a combo. But with Diddy, they get 50% right away. And I think I know the exact combo that he's talking about. The one where you down throw, then you back air, then you up air. I mean, it depends on, I guess, how well you read, but you definitely don't have to read as hard with Diddy to get some great follow-ups. And I think that's the point that he was trying to push home here. So the thing is, Smash is way more than just a hobby for me or something I do purely for fun. It's my passion, my job, and more. Winning matters. And you know, I don't share that same scenario with him, but he has to win in order to bring home money, in order to um, gain any kind of progress in this community. So it's understandable where his frustrations come from because him and every other tournament player who does this professionally because their lives depend on them winning. So it's not necessarily about the characters in terms of their background or if they like them or favorite them. Like me, I like playing as Robin, but I'm a casual, you know? So I mean, naturally, I'm not going to be able to hold my own as well. Although I think I could definitely hold my own with Robin, but I mean, still, I'm not going to be as life dependent on winning games with him all the time. I'm just doing it because I like Robin from Fire Emblem. But Zero, like he's saying here, he has to play from an approach of I have to win. So, and then he says sorry about um, streaming blah, blah, blah. Blast zones are so much different in most stages in Smash 4. Counterpicking may rely on them in the future. And I wish there were more tourney stages. Funnily enough, it seems that Melee has the most amount of tourney stages. <laughs> Brawl came down to three out of five. <laughs> three, five, yeah. And it's kind of fucking true in a way. Like everyone's pretty much banned all the levels in 3DS and Wii U, except for Bar 3, 2. So I mean, it's pretty much Final Destination and Battlefield in Smash 3DS and Wii U. People aren't really experimenting too much with those. And then here's where he drops the bomb about banning Diddy Kong, and he gets burned for it. And he even says it here, "Yo, don't burn me for the idea. Someone had to say it, homie." Like it was crazy, man. I'm, I'm telling you, man. People got at him. D1 got at him. It was crazy. And I mean. It's understandable, because more than likely, Nintendo will be aware of how viable Diddy is, and most likely throw a patch out, fix that problem real quick, and that'll fix the whole Diddy Kong thing, just like they did with Rosalina and Luma, even though Rosalina and Luma, technically speaking, didn't really get nerfed too much. I mean, Luma can't really knock you out of, um, save you from grabs anymore, but still, I mean, that's somewhat of a nerf. That's a good nerf. I don't know if they did anything else to her, but 
that alone is something I'm happy about because there were a lot of situations playing in For the Glory that I would get my ass bopped by Luma and I'm trying to work those Rosalina out and it's, it's really irritating but I mean thankfully they did that so the probability of them releasing a patch to slow Diddy Kong down in some way or fashion is high. I don't know what kind of status this was. Oh my god, my teacher is hitting on me. <laughs> so I mean, basically you guys see the point that Zero was trying to make here. Diddy Kong has some great follow-ups. And I wanted to show you guys a couple of examples in terms of matches that happened. Now this one was, um, this one I think was a couple of months ago. I think, well, well not a couple. I mean, this was over a month ago. And this was a Clash tournament match. I think it was a grand final where um, Nairo, who's one of the best Robin players in existence right now, went against the Diddy Kong. And Nairo is one of the sickest Robins out there. Like, this guy is nasty. And I consider myself really good with Robin, but this guy Nairo is a problem. And if you doubt how good I am with Robin, if you doubt, because everyone's going to be like, oh, Etika, you're a casual. Ask PB&J. Ask D1MX. Ask all these niggas. I play a mean Robin, man. I mean, so I think I am more than versed to talk about this stuff, because I'm not. it's not like I'm shitty. All you got to do is ask D1. All you got to do is ask PB&J. I'm not shitty. I gave both of those guys one hell of a goddamn fight, and, and I'm better now. So, I mean, hey. Anyway, so um, don't worry, I'll be going to tournaments soon just to confirm that with you guys because everyone seems to think I'm a casual when it comes to the Smash shit. Like, everyone everyone thinks that. I got my ass bopped by Zero a while ago, but I was lagging like crazy online. So, I mean, naturally, I guess that would happen. So, whatever. whatever. I, I, didn't, I wasn't really that adjusted to the game. It was like when, I, when the game first came out. But trust me, man, right now I can hold it down. But anyway, so Nairo here is one of the best Robins out there. And this guy was going against um, someone who is finaling with a Diddy Kong. J oh, J Tails! Oh, wow! And if we fast forward here, we can just see, like, look at the score already. J Tails with two, Robin with one. And, th and the funny part about this is that Nairo's Robin is nasty, but the down throw goes almost immediately into a combo that doesn't really take too much thought at all. Well, I shouldn't say too much thought, but you know, the follow up for it is definitely a lot easier. Oh, oh, trying that's gonna shoot stuff. Oh, oh. Yeah, he's definitely trying. Yeah, really. Woo! Perfect shields right there. And look at that, you know? It was a total wipeout, and this is Nairo's Robin that we're talking about, you know? So, I mean, and the thing is, is that, um, even though I don't know a lot of the names off the top of my head, um, Zero was saying that a lot of big smashers were changing their mains to Diddy just because he's so freaking viable on the field, and it kind of made him sad. And it kind of makes me sad, too, because, you know, even though I know this is their jobs, so they're playing professionally, at the end of the day, still, you wouldn't want anyone to just jump on a character on top of them and everybody using the same character as a main simply because, you know, the character is good. I mean, there should be some kind of slowdown to Diddy, and I think Nintendo's going to deliver it probably in their next update. Diddy is extremely viable right now, and um, Nairo actually loses this tournament because the Diddy is so strong. He, he really couldn't, he really didn't have anything against it. He had to go to Lil Mac, for God's sake. It was, it was bad, man. It was bad, man. Uh, let's watch a little bit earlier in the match. So, you know, he was holding it down somewhat, but I mean, actually, this is somewhat of an old match. I have a newer one loaded up right here. This one was um, a couple, I think it was like a, about a week ago. We fucking messing then we tweaking up, tweaking up. But anyways, yeah, this one was about a week ago. <laughs> and um, it was actually involving Nairo going up against a Diddy Kong once again. J Tails himself here at the Grand Finals once more. And you know, this just goes to show you, Nairo's Robin is not a joke. This was a different tournament, granted, but still, Robin, Nairo, and J Tails, Diddy Kong, they wound up in the grand finals once more. And J Tails, he beat ass all the way through loser's bracket to come for Nairo's precious ass. So, this one itself was just crazy. Was say, like... I'm sorry right, if I'm like, I, right I just now. want to show you guys a little bit of the matchup. Because, you know, a little bit of the matchup so you can see just how dominating Diddy Kong can be out there, man. Get that ready. And you already know now we're going to go ahead and get these arc fires out here. Hell yeah. Just, just, just pay attention to Diddy Kong, man. Look at that. I mean, you could, you could DI out of it, but still, I mean. Really? It's like not even my type. Well, it is my type of game because I like the Final Fantasy Tactics. Something about Fire Emblem in its own. Like, I don't know. Soon though. Here we go. I just wanted to see one match real quick. Nice stuff. Did you like Tactics? 
Oh. Tactics was the only Final Fantasy game I've ever liked. Right. Robin, Robin was definitely well, holding it down better in this game than he was okay, in anyway, the four. Sure Probably because he kind of adjusted a bit more to Diddy style. He's not impossible to play around. I mean, he's right, just right now, he's difficult. Man. That's Dude, for sure. I don't know what happened in the loot bracket, but he is completely totally on the juke. Well, this is the thing, and I talked about this on Twitter. The guy coming from Lucian's bracket is actually at a pretty good advantage only because he has so much momentum behind him. He's been beating him while the guy in winners is just kind of sitting there waiting for his turn. Nairo's been just in his room alone waiting to play forever. Uh, he may have been practicing, but he has been practicing against players of this caliber. Ooh. Wow, nice effort, Matt, though. I actually caught Very him on good. the other side. That was a down smash, right? Of this caliber. Yeah, that was wow, a down. Nice effort, Matt, though. I actually caught him on the other side. Oh, good shit. Good to get out of there. Yeah, so Diddy's down tilt, like, man. You can really follow up with that at lower percentages. Straight out of this game, and uh, I don't know what this jump did over here, but I feel like that first one was looking at it. Hmm. Right. Damage. Tries to oh. Wow, well, he shields the first part, and he spot dodges. Very nice, very nice. Very good. good time. Almost. But he, uh, I think he just lost the... Uh, no, he lost the 11. Yeah, I thought he just lost the, lost the book. Hmm. He ain't grab the banana too. Back on the what? Street, tries to spike him, I think. That F is gonna kill him. That's gonna do it. Oh! Oh, I actually, actually got a double. Oh, nice attack! Big attack! Oh! This is, this is so risky. Yeah, this is a close one. Yeah, Nairo was really working his ass off. Wow, with that, sending so far off. Uh -huh. Oh! I tried it again. I thought that was the F back. Wow! Oh. Okay, that has happened. So many times, if somebody goes for a kill on Nairo, and Nairo responds. So you know, the point of showing you guys this video on top of Nairo's performance in the last time he fought J Tails in the tournament is the fact that Diddy is not impossible to play around. There are still many ways that you can adjust to him, and you know, if you really wanted to, you could learn this guy really easy, and you can play around him. Like right now, Diddy's are tough for me, but I mean, I just have to fight more people who are viable with him, and eventually you learn, you know. I mean, I used to get my ass kicked by Commander Monty 456's Captain Falcon, and now I don't think I can get beaten by it again. <laughs> oh, I was, I was working against that Falcon at, um, by the time our trip was over. So I mean, hey, and so then Zero, of course, understanding everything, he he made an apology on Reddit. So you know, it's understandable, dude. You know, his point. It, it made a lot of sense in some ways, but banning a character isn't the way to go this early, and he understands that. So, don't worry, the issue is now resolved. There is no longer any kind of, you know, hostile feelings or anything like that. And remember, if there's a character that you think is too powerful, you know, just learn them more. You, know, you can play around them, you can definitely can. I mean, even if somebody's easier to pick up, that's the thing. You don't really need that much skill to be nice with Diddy, and that will make, that's what makes everybody go to him, but you can still play around him. It's not impossible, man. He definitely ain't Meta Knight Brawl. So, um, um, so basically this tweet, excuse me, this tweet, this wasn't, a, um, this wasn't Zero's post, but this was a post that was justifying Diddy not being banned. So every other player, commentator, and T.O. who saw it replied mocking this tweet or lamb lambasting the idea. People saw a bunch of people saying, no, Diddy won't get banned and assumed some kind of debate was going on and made don't ban Diddy threats. This isn't a debate. One guy made a post and everyone else shook their head. Even if there was a debate, there's no way Diddy would get banned without tournament evidence. I know a lot of you are new to competitive fighting games, so it's absolutely critical you familiarize, familiarize yourself with competitive mentality. David Serlin's book, Playing to Win, is a must read. You can read the whole book online here. If you are not interested in reading the book right now, you need to look at these things. The summary of the book and the banning chapter. So, I mean, this pretty much explains why Diddy Kong is not in a position to get banned right now. It's it's not gonna happen, man. So don't worry about that. And then Zero did make the apology video here. Um, he said, "Hi, Zero here. Here to apologize about the Diddy drama." And you know, you can definitely read these later on. These will be in the description below. Go check those links out. But um, yeah, man. So everything is pretty much settled with the Diddy Kong thing. I still agree that Diddy Kong is one of the easiest and deadliest characters to pick up and play. But with enough practice, you can get around him. And Zero already said that he was coming up with strategies for fighting Diddy Kong. And this, I will admit to you, I'm going to study like a goddamn book so I can learn how to play around Diddy Kong too because I've gotten my ass handed to me by a couple of those guys. Either way, guys, what do you think about this whole Diddy Kong drama thing? I'll talk to you in the next video. Take care of yourselves, and of course, as usual, please have yourself a damn good one.